Most people in America are quite familiar with what is and isn't properly their property. You see, the liars of America presume that they have rights. And the liars of America always try to take rights from other people. The liars of America want someone's property. The liars of America want someone's intelligence. The liars of America want something more than what Jesus or God or whatever they believe in as a deity has provided for them right now in their life. They are impatient to have a rich lifestyle like they see on TV. There used to be a marvelous kind of thing on Sunday afternoons when I was growing up as a teenager called Lifestyles of the Rich and Famous. And I imagined that, like most people, I was intrigued. I found it fascinating how glorious some of these houses were, but what I recognized was I wouldn't want to live in any of them. They didn't look the least bit comfy. They didn't look the least bit cozy. They didn't look like the least bit fun for any family outings. And I just thought, wow, I'm glad you can spend like that, but holy cow, how do you have fun in a place like that? In America, we have rights to our property. The Fourth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which is called the Bill of Rights in terms of the amendments go, says that we have the right to be safe in our person. We have the right to be safe in our property, and no one can confiscate it from us. And yet people do that on a regular basis through theft and improper borrowing. Someone would say, well, I borrowed that. Really? Did you have permission to borrow it? Did you have permission to go into that? Did you have permission to touch that? Did you have permission to organize that? Did you have true, honest-to-God permission to be anywhere near that person's possessions? And nine times out of ten in the courses of theft, identity theft, fraud, and other types of crime? The answer is no. But you assumed the identity. You assumed the credibility, if you will, in your mind. But what you really did was lie. 